Okay, in this problem, I'm going to solve this question right here. I'm given the cubic polynomial ax cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x plus b, and I'm given that x minus 2 and x plus 1 are factors of this polynomial, and I'm asked to then find a and b. All right, so here's how I'm going to go about this. I know that x minus 2 is a factor. The factor theorem tells me then that 2 will be a root or a solution of my polynomial. In other words, uh, if I input a value of 2 in here for x, then my polynomial will be equal to 0. So I'm going to do that. Inputting 2 in for x, I will get a times 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared minus 9 times 2 plus b, and now this is equal to 0. And the reason, again, that it's equal to 0 is because we're told that x minus 2 is a factor. That means that positive 2 is a root. And so inputting 2 in for x will make my function equal to 0. Solving it, I get uh, 2 cubed, that's 8. So 8 times a is 8a plus 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12, minus 9 times 2 is 18, plus b. And gathering up my terms, I have an 8a, I have plus b, 12 minus 18 is negative 6, and that's equal to 0. So I have one equation with one unknown, I need to to form another equation. How am I going to do that? I'm going to use my other factor. If x plus 1 is a factor, then minus 1, negative 1, is a root. That means if I put in negative 1 in here for x, my, my polynomial will be equal to 0. And so, putting in 1 where I have here an x, a x cubed becomes a times negative 1 cubed plus 3 times negative 1 squared minus 9 times negative 1 plus b. A times negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 times a is negative a. Plus negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Minus 9 times minus 1 is positive 9 plus b. Oh, and by the way, this is equal to 0. Let's forget that. And so gathering up my terms, I have minus a plus b, 3 plus 9 is 12, and that is equal to 0. And I have formed another equation in a and b. And now if I take my two equations and I subtract one from the other, so I will subtract from this equation, I will subtract this one right here. So I will put this here, I will have 8a plus b minus 6 is equal to 0, and I'm going to subtract this equation from this one. So that will be negative a minus 8a is minus 9a. b minus b is 0. Cancel. 12 minus minus 6, well, double negative there. 12 minus minus 6 is positive 6, so the 12 plus 6 is 18. So we'll get 18 is equal to 0. Uh, solving this, I'll bring, I'll add 9a to both sides. I will get 9a is equal to 18, and therefore a is equal to 18 divided by 9 is 2. And so I work out that a, my value for a is 2. Um, I'm now going to solve for b by simply subbing that back in. I can sub it back in here if I like. And so rearranging this equation, this equation becomes b is equal to 6 minus 8a. And I know that a is 2 now. And so b is equal to 6 minus 8 times 2 is 16. Or b is equal to 6 minus 16 is minus 10. And so that is my value for b right there. And this here is my value for a. And so really, my polynomial which I might call f of x, if I like I introduce that, this is my function f of x. My polynomial is, instead of ax cubed, we'll have 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x 
and my plus b is minus 10. Minus 10. So that's really my function right there uh, with the coefficients all filled in for a and b. Okay, the final part of the question <clears throat> asks us to um, find the missing third factor. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my function here and I'm going to divide it by one of its factors. A couple ways you do it, I think I'm going to choose this method. So I'm going to divide it by one of its factors. I might choose to divide it by x plus 1. So I'm going to take my function. I'm going to divide it. So my function is, again, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x minus 10. I don't know that. And if I divide it by x plus 1, I will get up here as a result, I will get my quadratic function. The, when I factor this, I will have two linear factors. One of them will be the, the one we already know, x minus 2. And the other one will be the missing third factor. So dividing this in, uh, what do I multiply x by to get 2x cubed? Excuse me. That would be 2x squared. So I get here 2x squared. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And 2x squared times 1 is 2x squared. Subtracting. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. 3x squared minus 2x squared is 1x squared. Just x squared. I'll bring down my negative 9x. Why do I multiply x by to get x squared? Well, that would be x. x times x is x squared. And x times 1 is positive x. And again, I subtract x squared minus x squared is 0, minus 9x minus x is minus 10x, and then finally, bring down my minus 10. Why do I multiply x by to get negative 10x? Well, that would be, of course, negative 10. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. Subtract these, and I will get 0. So the remainder theorem tells me that x plus 1 is a factor. Of course, we already knew that. It means that I have my correct values for a and b. And this quadratic up here contains my other two linear factors, right? 2x squared plus x minus 10 is also a factor of f of x, if you like. Uh, but I'm going to factorize my quadratic here. So let me just bring this down. I have my 2x squared plus x minus 10. And if I factorize this, well, the factorization should be pretty straightforward because I already know one of the factors. So I have 2x squared is going to be 2x and x, of course. I have here a minus, so I know it's going to be plus, minus, or minus, plus. Well, x minus 2, I can actually already fill that in. I know that that's going to be minus, and this is going to be plus. To give me my minus there. And this is 2, and so this here will be 5. Positive 2, sorry, positive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And I have 5x minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x, which gives me positive x. And so this, these are, this quadratic has now been factored correctly. Notice again that my x minus 2 is indeed uh, one of the factors I already knew. And my missing factor then is this 2x plus 5. And so the missing factor, I mean, you, we were given two of the factors. We've filled in our polynomial. We fill in the missing coefficients. And the missing factor, singular factor, is 2x plus 5. And there we go. We have our three factors and we have solved for A and B. And that's how we complete that question.